Good afternoon and welcome back to Orangeville Daily Homes. I'm your host David and today we have 10 properties on our list that we're going to review today and uh, yeah I mean there's more in Caledon than there is in uh, in Orangeville but uh, we're going to start with our first one which uh, is 401 Main Street East and it is in Shelburne. It's 295. It's a century home. Uh, it's on a corner. It is this is you know, Highway 89 uh, runs across the front, so uh, keep that in mind. And, you know, inside looks pretty good. I mean, for $295, uh, I mean, the home's certainly been here for many, many, many a year. It's over 100 years old. And so, yeah, I mean, you're, you're going to be dealing with a lot of uh, different, uh, you know, building material in a property that's been here for this long uh, it mentions that it is a all brick heritage home, so now I would I would have to ask the first question is whether or not they have a designation on the property because if they do, then there's certain types of things that you can and can't do to the property. So it's one thing to keep in mind when you read the the detail below. Uh, big backyard. It's it's uh, 145 feet deep. It's it's 49 and a half feet wide. So it's nice that way. And then, uh, you know, you could split this up and turn it into a, into a, a duplex, uh, you know, self-contained and the whole thing. So, I mean, that could work as well. Uh, you know, what could you get for, for income? Uh, basically, in Shelburne, you're going gonna, you're gonna to get anywhere from about, for a two-bedroom, you're looking upwards to about, you know, 1000 to 1100 for a, a two-bedroom. If you have a three bedroom, obviously you're going to get at least a little bit more, maybe thirteen hundred, maybe twelve fifty. So keep in keep that in mind. Now the taxes are five thousand five hundred on this place, so uh, the taxes are probably going to eat up into your cash flow if uh, if that, if you're looking at it for an investment purpose, right? Uh, the next one is four four nine Tansley Street, and this is four sixty nine. It's a it's a newer model and. Um, you're about uh, 2,600 square feet uh, in this one, and it's very like it's fairly new. There's there's uh, no uh, backyard hasn't been fenced off. There is grass, so your front entrance where you walk in, you've got the set of stairs that lead up, and then you've got this uh, living room. You've got a dining room off to the side there, and then you come further into the property, and across the back is uh, the kitchen and the uh, family room. And then there are four bedrooms upstairs. Uh, there are four washrooms. The basement is not finished. And yeah, I mean, 469, yeah, that's pretty much what the going rate is uh, for these particular ones right at the moment. Next one is four, sorry, uh, 21 Hesp Drive, and this one is Bolton. Uh, it's 495. And this looks like it's uh, it's been very well maintained. And, uh, you know, they, they've really have some nice different, you know, different kinds of chandeliers in place. They have hard, you know, the, they have uh, hardwood flooring. Uh, even the harvest table is quite lovely as well. It just kind of adds to the ambiance of the room. Uh, it's huge when you're listing uh, your property to make sure that your first impression is a good one because that's what's going to drive people in. And so into the kitchen here, we've got pot lights, which is great, uh, stainless steel appliances, uh, they've kind of, oh, it looks like they've opened up a wall um, on the other side there. So uh, I guess it, it adds a little bit more space. And then we have the invisible chair. Like It, it really is the invisible chair as far as I'm concerned because you can barely see it. At first I had to do a double take just to, to realize that there was a chair there. And it wasn't my imagination. But uh, but yeah, so... Uh, Bathrooms are all being being updated as well. Place looks pretty good, right? Basement's finished as well. Very nice. And, uh, you know, Bolton, at this price, yeah, it's not going to sit around too long, folks. Uh, next one is 101 Hunter, and it's 589. This one's got a walkout. Uh, inside is nice. It also has a pool. So the only the people that are going to be looking at this property are people who are pool people who like pools. Because um, in-ground pools, you know, it's it's a challenge when people are are you know selling a home and it has a, like an in-ground pool because you only have that one buyer that's looking to buy that type of property right especially when it's a walkout right because sometimes 
you want to be able to walk out into your, into your backyard with your kids and whatever. And you really can't do that on this one. You'd have to go downstairs into the basement and then out the back door to where the pool is. So it's a, just a, it's a little bit different, right? So there's different people for different types of, of properties. But inside, it's quite nice. Uh, granite countertops, uh, stainless steel appliances. So you have this kitchen uh, off on one side of the house. And then on the other side of the house is you have this uh, living room, which is right here. Pot lights, which is really nice. Fireplace as well. And then it looks like they've uh, got a nice little office in one of the bedrooms. Uh, yeah, I mean, three bedrooms. There's four washrooms. And, uh, you know, that den on the main floor is, uh, is quite nice to have. Basement's finished. Seems pretty good. Next one is 5 York Street, and it's 639. Right now, it's, it's a triplex. And so you really need to make sure that the, the numbers would work for you. Uh, on, a pro on a property like this, um, I mean, you, like I said, in, in Orangeville, you will get uh, basically 900 for a one-bedroom, uh, two-bedroom. Obviously, you will get uh, probably around 1250, um, maybe even 13, and then you're looking at 15, uh, 16 uh, on a three-bedroom. Again, uh, it just depends on how many upgrades have been done to that particular living space. To command that price, uh, this one here, the taxes are six thousand three hundred and forty-nine. So just kind of keep those things in mind, because again, that's going to eat really into your cash flow. Only one of the units is occupied; uh, the other one, with a renter, that is, uh, one of the other ones is owner occupied, and one of them is empty. So uh, Westview, this is in Palgrave, uh, six. 96 and this is quite lovely it's it's amazing what lighting uh, and decluttering will do it totally changes the landscape of the house uh, breakfast bar which is nice see center fireplace you can put a TV up above if you want it I mean it's set up quite lovely uh, for that uh, now there is hardwood flooring on the uh, on the upper floor main floor uh, it doesn't really say what it is and then uh, down in the basement uh, is a uh, laminate. But uh, basement looks pretty good. A good size backyard. That's the thing. When you start getting into these these uh, bungalows uh, and, uh, and side splits and, and detached homes further out on on a nice piece of, of, of land, uh, it really does make all the difference. You don't really feel, you know, so constrained. Uh, Mount Wolf Road in Caledon as well, just uh, north of uh, kind of Bolton there. Uh, six ninety nine. Obviously, the two car garage with the front picture there. I don't know why you take a picture of, of just the table there, but uh, yeah, on the outside pics around the house, uh, you know, piano room, and then, folks, if you're listing your house, take down your pots. Honestly, take down your pots. It may be functional, but it, it really detracts from the room. Uh, and then when you have these open cabinets, it, you got to make sure they're clean and tidy. Because otherwise, if you're just kind of putting stuff in, it just, you can see it. And, it. and it adds to that um, ambience of the room. And if it's messy, it, if, it, if your cabinets are messy and you can see into them, your kitchen looks messy. It's just what it. That's just the way it goes. Uh, so they've got a, a built-in. It looks like a gas fireplace here. It looks like they've got a, a TV above, which is nice. I mean, the place seems to be okay. Uh, you kind of really need to see that one in person to to get a good grasp. But you know, they do have. A, there's a studio in there. There's a workshop in there. Uh, is a finished walkout basement. So there are some some great things with that. The outside space seems to be okay. There's all kinds of different uh, levels that you can be on. Uh, now, down in McLaughlin, uh, this one here is 769. There's no finished basement on this one, but the, the, the lot's like 150 feet wide, 300 feet deep, a lot of space. It is close uh, to Brampton. Uh, Looks like uh, at some time they may have kind of knocked out a wall or, or done something here just because it's all open. You can see like this little kind of bulkhead uh, running across the top. Uh, looks like they've, they've put in some lighting in there. Uh, obviously the hardwood flooring. 
I think that would probably be the dining room. It's hard to tell. And then you've got this closed off kitchen, which is typical of what you of that age of the home. Uh, they've obviously opened up uh, another wall. Um, yeah, just yeah, a little bit different uh, type of layout. Um, but I think really uh, what you're going to see is the, the space, the land. It's flat. It, it, it looks pretty good with regards to that. Um, yeah, if you want to be close to the city, uh, you know, close to the city, then then certainly um, you were literally very close um, on that one. And uh, next one, it's a Seven Valley Green Crescent. It's seven seventy nine. It's a detached bungalow, and this one, it's smaller. It's it's one. It's one hundred and thirty feet wide, one hundred and forty four feet deep. But this shows beautiful. Like the whole place has been renovated from top to bottom. This is stunning gorgeous and to be quite honest I would actually take this one uh, in Caledon East uh, your walking distance to pretty much everything um, you know it's on a it's on a it's a lovely neighborhood I mean it's like the size of the backyard I mean that's manageable and uh, you know the neighbors are far enough away that uh, it, you know it may not be a bother right so I would I like this one over the, the one that we just saw only because I mean everything's done. It's got a great flow to it. It's it's yeah. It's it's pretty cool. Uh, and the last one is thirty five Brookhaven. I like this one too at nine fifty. Uh, there's three bedrooms up, one bedroom down, five bathrooms in this place. Um, it is uh, you know just shy of uh, I think like an acre and a half. Uh, the the land it kind of goes kind of back into the trees at the back there a little bit as well. Uh, beautiful hardwood flooring, which is quite nice. Uh, it's very grand when you when you think about it. You got the coffered ceiling, you got pot lights kind of around, uh, fireplace, which is great. Uh, it looks like a den on the main uh, floor there, and then you've got the not the best picture of the kitchen there, but this is a better angle of it. So you've got you can see the kitchen there, pendant light. There was a, a corner pantry, which is nice. It's like a full room uh, that you can go into. Uh, and then you've got the dining room, which uh, caps off really nice. Bedrooms are, are fairly good sizes as well. Uh, very nice with the ensuite for the master. Basement is finished. And there's, like I said, another room down there. And then it looks like you've got like a little kind of, I don't know if it's like a shed or if it's a little kind of getaway. But that looks kind of cool. Actually, it's a garden shed. There it is. Uh, you can, I guess you can sit and hang out if you need to get away, I guess. Very cool. I do like that one. That one is our last one, and that's our list, everybody. Hopefully, you found it beneficial and helpful, and I do wish you are having a lovely St. Patty's Day. And that's our list. So if you're thinking about making a move, just reach out and say, hey, Dave, I'm thinking, uh, you know, I need some advice. What do I do? Um, or, hey, I want to go for a tour of homes. A tour of homes only takes a couple of hours. We, uh, you know, I can introduce, leave your checkbooks at home. Like we don't need them. Uh, we can go off and, and take a look at, uh, you know, different neighborhoods because every neighborhood will be different for every particular buyer, right? It, it, it speaks a different language, so to speak. So that's our last one. So just reach out and let me know. Take care, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you tomorrow. Bye.